We hope you enjoy listening to this weekly podcast from Lifeline Church. Find out more by visiting lifelinechurch.co.uk. Hi, good morning, everyone. Say good morning because this is the day the Lord has made and He enables us to rejoice and be glad in it. And I wanted to again take this opportunity to share a couple of thoughts with you, uh, things that have been stirring with me and ministering to me. Daniel sent me uh, what we believe is a quote from C.S. Lewis uh, just the other day, and this is. Uh, was 1942, uh, just in the middle of the of the war, of the Second World War, and things were looking pretty pretty grim. Uh, you had the the U-boats sinking our ships, bringing vital supplies from the states. Uh, it was a it was a difficult and tough time. Let me just read you what what he wrote uh, at that time. Satan will say, I will cause anxiety, fear and panic. I will shut down business, schools, places of worship and sports events. I will cause economic turmoil. Jesus will say, I will bring together neighbours, restore the family union. I will bring dinner back to the kitchen table. I will help people slow down their lives and appreciate what really matters. I will teach my children to rely on me and not the world. I will teach my children to trust me, not their money and material resources. I thought that was, it was quite appropriate and significant uh, for such a time as this, a time when we seem to be in the very depths of this awful virus uh, and we're told it yet could even get worse. And yet we're told that this is a time, uh, as always, where we can be like shine, shining like stars in the night. And we look to see how that might happen. Psalm 107 verses 15 and 16. Let me just read this to you. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. For he breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through iron bars. Now gates of, of bronze and iron bars in the scripture, they really refer to consciousness, attitudes of mind, things of that, that can inform our thinking, doubts, fears, anxiety, resentment, these things which can be just like uh, bars of iron. And yet the promise is, and the reality is, and the statement is that there is nothing that's so strong, even the things that would invade our minds. And that's why when the Bible says to bring every thought into captivity, of course, along with that comes God's grace, the power to do everything which his word declares. So we see that whether we look into the Old Testament or New Testament, we can bring every negative thought into captivity. Of course, the key to that was in that verse that we read. Let them give thanks to the Lord. And thankfully, we have discovered that and we continue to discover that. That's why my question constantly comes back to, so what are we, what are we thanking God for? Is a great starting place. But I want to mention a couple of other things. In Matthew 25, we get the story of the uh, ten virgins waiting for the arrival of the bridegroom. This is about preparation. And I believe that there are things that God's giving us to do at this time, which are not just about the present, but they're also about preparing for coming days. And you see, the five foolish virgins who ran out of the oil and did not have the resource at the critical moment were ones who 
just did the minimum. And I don't think God calls us to just do the minimum. He calls us now to be preparing for what he's got in coming days. But there's another point, and that is, yeah, it's good to get to get free of the wrong thinking and the negative thinking, which can restrict us. And we know our key is thankfulness. It's also important that we have an eye to the future and see how we might be preparing, building connections, showing acts of kindness, reaching out to people, opening doorways, looking for ways that God is helping us to prepare for the future. But there's a third thing, and that is about action now. In, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 6 and 7, talks about casting our care upon him, which of course is kind of what we're looking at today. But as we cast our care upon him, that's different to casting our responsibility. Our responsibility stays with us. Parents have a responsibility for children. We have a responsibility to look after the things that God's given us, whether it's a home or a, 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 a vehicle or whatever it is. We, there's responsibilities we can't cast on him. We have cares we cast on him. So what is our responsibility? Well, let me just suggest, Lord, what have you for me to do today? Lord, who would you have me contact this week? Lord, what is it that you're giving to me by way of word or encouragement that I can bring to somebody else? It's just examples. I'm sure that as we look to God, looking to be people of action, people of preparation, and people that are not bound by uh, the negative thoughts the enemy might want to impose upon us, I believe that we will again be those shining lights that God has called us to be. God bless you. Thank you for listening to this podcast by Lifeline Church. We hope this message has been an encouragement to you. We are a relational church with a passion to demonstrate God's love to one another and our surrounding community in real and practical ways. We believe that God has called us to have an impact on our families, our communities and our nation. We'd love to connect further with you, so please do visit our website at lifelinechurch.co.uk, on Facebook, lifeline.church.uk or Twitter at lifelineuk.com.